No, you guys are not daydreaming. Yes. This is Ravenfield, and this is Star Wars. These are a few of my favorite things. Don't you think that this gun looks like the STG-44? Anyway, a lot of the Star Wars guns from the original trilogy were based off of, like, World War II stuff. Basically, like, movie props that they then converted and made look sci-fi. Oh, my God. I never knew how big the ARC-170 was. Anyway, today what we're going to be doing is check out this map. This is the Battle of Coruscant. What we're going to be seeing today is a battle between capital ships. We're going to be flying starfighters between them both. We're going to have dogfights in space, and then we're going to invade an enemy capital ship, a.k.a. You know, something big like a Star Destroyer here, the Republic Cruisers, or the CIS capital ships, and we're gonna take them over. Also, you see those big guns on the side? Yeah, those are big guns. Those are turbo laser batteries. There's, and we're gonna be able to operate them. Also, we're gonna have to destroy them. Oh my god, that's a droid tri fighter right there. Come here, buddy. Let's see if we can't. Oh man, that guy's fast and nimble. Look at how amazing this battlefield is, though. Like, look at this. I wonder where the Jedi Temple is. We need to get down there and, pro and try to defend Order 66. Oh my god, what about Jedis? So it looks like for my Starfighter, I've got, like, my main lasers. Now, we're in slow motion right now, but I've also got Weapon System 2. And who is shooting at me? Oh my god, we got a droid fighter on us, but look at that. We've got uh, an R2 or an R5, basically an astromech unit, or an astromech droid up in the top. We don't have a rear gunner. I think we've got an assistant gunner of some sort here. Let's go ahead and... You know what? I'm gonna aim at this guy here. And let's do it in real time. Oh my god, what are those? Lee, what is that? I, I have not a clue what I'm firing right now. I'm not as familiar with the ARC-170 as I am familiar with, like, X-Wings and TIE Fighters, a.k.a. Star Wars dogfighters from the Galactic Civil War. Oh, look at this. You can see inside of the Republic Cruiser here. It'd be really awesome to see just, like, men running around, but, like, we're all out here fighting. Look at this! As we pass by the cruiser, you can look inside of the CIS ships, too. You can see, uh, the droid fighters and the tri-fighters in there. This is amazing! So, those are vulture droids. So you can see inside the bay there, you can see an Ada 2. And you can see the turbo laser batteries. Look at them, they're moving right now. As there are clones. Clone troopers, like, uh, piloting them? I guess, uh, inside of them? What, what, what do you say? Manning the gun stations here as they're trying to track targets. I think that's amazing. Now, if you could actually have a battle over one of these cruisers, uh, and this just, oh, it just makes me wish that there was multiplayer because the modded servers that we would have for multiplayer are incredibly amazing. Already, I just feel like immersed. I'm gonna see if I can't fly into that. All right, we are looking at one right now and it doesn't look like all the turbo laser batteries are manned. I don't even know how to get to them. We're gonna find out. So basically what I'm gonna try to do is fly into this Republic cruiser. This is gonna be a little bit messy. Let's go ahead, let's see what happens. Oh, my wing's gonna clip, isn't it? No, it's not. Sorry, pilot. Are you okay? Hold on. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Medic! Get the Bacta! Get the Bacta! Oh! Look at this. So, this map was made by Ender Invader. He's part of the uh, Star Wars project for Ravenfield. Now, if I press F. Maybe someone was in that one. Now, what happens if I try to exit? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, what happens if we jump? Guys, I gotta get down there and stop Order 66. Oh my god, it ain't a two go! Oh. <laughs> it was at this moment that Clone Trooper 15972-A knew he messed up. <laughs> this is awesome. How long will I fall before I perish? Oh my god, this is... this is incredible! <laughs> I'm gonna get down to the surface! There's lasers shooting after me! It's beautiful! Ugh. Look at this, guys! So, if you look on the map, you see the little white triangle? That's where I am in relation to this battle. I'm a turbo laser battery. Now we're in slow motion, you can see some of the vulture droids. 
And then there's a tri fighter over there, and I feel like the tri fighters are better than the vulture droids. Although I'm not a droid, and I've never flown them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was more of you know, in, I was involved in the galactic civil war, not the uh, the separate uh, the clone wars. Oh my god, this is awesome. It's hard to get hits though with this thing. This would be really good for like, look at that. Like, imagine me laying into another capital ship. Its shields absorbing it. There we go. We disabled a tri fighter. So now if I press F, I leave, and I don't- I don't know why. I think only one person can be in it. So that's why I wasn't able to- Oh my god, there's a dude in a parachute! <laughs> I think he looks like a droid, don't you? We didn't have the gun conversion set properly. Look at the turrets moving around. I think some of them are just moving? I don't know. Maybe there's other clones in them. Anyway, let's- Let's launch an Ada 2 before we head over to the Separatists. We've only got one armament. Now, we're more of a dogfighter. Oh my god, yes. You hear those sound effects? This is glorious. So the ARC-170 is obviously pretty big. That almost looked like a- oh. <laughs> I was like, that almost looked like a TIE Fighter. But it was just the uh, wings of the uh, Vulture Droid falling away. Scratch one bogey, boys! Yeah! Well, uh, technically that's scratch too. So look at this. Wait a minute. If I slow down, you'll notice that my wings on the side make me what? Presumably they go out to make me more maneuverable, which is funny because if you think about it, we're in space, so that's not really how space works. Although, once again, I've never been in space. All right, we want to fly into one of these ships, but we got to line up properly. Imagine, like, flying by and seeing General Grievous fighting, like, Anakin and Obi-Wan in there. People always say that I look like Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I find it very flattering. He's my- he's my favorite Jedi. Who's yours? Alright, we're lining up our approach here. I need to get a little bit more in line here. Every now and then I'll get a missile lock, so... I think the Tri-Fighter has... Ooh, this is scary. This is really scary. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh! No way! Look, there's a droid popping out! I'm taking the ship! I'm taking the ship! Vulture droids, tri-fighters everywhere! Man, their bays are not as protected, I think, as the clones are. Oh my gosh, no way! Now imagine if the clones could have, like, jetpacks, and could then, like, like, fly through space here and land on one of the other ones. I remember there was, like, the Clone Wars that was the animated series. And I swear they did that in that. Not the animated, like, it was the cartoon series. This was well before the animated series that you see on Cartoon Network. Okay, so let's get a close-up. Now that nobody's gonna be spawning in here and shooting us. This is the Vulture Droid. These things, I remember seeing them in, like, Star Wars Episode One. I mean, like, what is that? Dude, the tri -fighter. These are amazing models, guys. Oh, and on this, you can actually, like, step out a little bit. Now, I don't want to fall down there, because I don't think there's a way to get back up. Can we see inside of that? All right, Kobe. <laughs> Look at grab. Well, I guess being this close to Coruscant, we would be in orbit, right? Ha! From here, we can fire and hit the deck. All right, let's see if we can't hit a ship from here. Nope. A little high. Just a little higher. Shut up, Lando. An inch to our left. Yeah! <laughs> we disabled a tri fighter even without using the turbo laser batteries. Okay, before we check out theirs, I'm gonna try to get it on the one on this side and shoot at that ship. If so, we're gonna kick some butt. Look at that. I wonder if I can destroy it. Oh my god! There were like four droids. <laughs> There's droid parts spilling out of there. Oh my, how many are in there? Okay. We just dominated the droids. Now let's see what it's like to be a droid. All right, I spawned in. Oh my gosh, look at the droids. The models aren't bad. Oh shoot, they're above me. Here we go, we're getting some hits. Oh, we had a cool down there. Dang it, I was getting some really good hits. Ooh, there's an ARC-170. Can we hit it? Oh, we're always reloading at the wrong moment, aren't we? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just just a little higher. Just a little higher. Oh, these are good hits. It's amazing how much bigger that is than an X-Wing. I, I never really knew. 
Hey, look, my buddy's turning his guns too. This is awesome. That's rather atmospheric, and uh, no, no pun intended. <laughs> but it definitely helps the overall atmosphere to feel like I'm part of like a giant, you know, war machine here. Oh, he just ran into the bridge of another CIS ship. I'm gonna take one of these out, man. If it's the last thing I do, and trust me, it won't be the last thing I do. We got ships to fly next. Oh, he's he's looping back. So my question is. Does anyone here play Star Wars Battlefront 2? Like, the the new EA one. Now, I'm not talking about the classic one, which is just timeless. Here we go, we don't have as good of an angle to target their batteries, but I think we'll be able to still get some kills here. Oh, maybe not. Well, enough of that. Let's see what it's like to be a droid pilot. Get to the turrets, you idiots! Roger, roger. All right. We're trying the Vulture Droid out first. Okay, we do have concussion. Uh, I don't know if they're proton torpedoes or concussion missiles. We got a target lock on somebody. And we got six of these. I can't imagine how this guy's going to escape. I've already sent three in the air. Four. Oh, he just... There's... No, way did he just... How did he... Untarget lock. Oh my god, the sound effects are glorious. Now I'm losing them in like... This is the best sound effect in the entire map. Yeah, I love this. Oh my god. Let's try to strafe some of these turrets. Now, hold on. The first test is, is this actually... a real one? Or one of the fake ones? Oh, it's one of the real ones! Alright, let's, let's get a reload here. That means this is a real one. Oh, shoot! Alright. Ready to see a droid? <laughs> oh my god, my head's broken. It looks like there's a cannon going through it. <laughs> roger, roger. <laughs> All right, the tri-fighter time, guys. This thing is a mean-looking machine. And it, it kind of makes more sense for, like, space. At least, it looks like it. Oh my god, we did it. Brilliant. We're the best fighter pilot in the entire galaxy. All right, so it doesn't even look like we used that big gun on the front. Someone's trying to shoot at us. We definitely feel a little bit more nimble here. So now what we're gonna try to do is fly into here as someone flies an A to two out. All right, we're using Boba Fett's gun, the EE-3. Have you guys heard about the new series, The Mandalorian? This thing's dirty. All right. We don't really need to reload, we just gotta make sure we don't overheat. Okay, so now the goal is to take another one. Oh god, not right now! Okay, it's working. We're forcing the flag to come down, we gotta get really close to it. Oh my balls. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be able to take that, but one of the things that they said they've worked on, or that they're working on, is like troop transports to be able to move a lot of guys between the levels. They're probably trying to figure out how the helicopter works, because that's how you're gonna have to get a, a troop transport, is to use this. Now look at these guys as they head off to the ARC-170, There's they got the rear gunner. Are they waiting for a third guy? That thing looked like it's got a decent sized bay in the back there. Maybe, maybe it's a troop transport? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. If you want more, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.